fans, I am backstage with the big winner tonight. He is undefeated in the squared circle. No one beats us to the punch. fight tonight let's talk a little bit about how the fight went down uh I, it was a it was a majority draw um i think i won uh three to two um but you know it is what it is this is where he's from this is his state uh so i have to come and step into that doghouse and be prepared for whatever and i, I need to be able to finish fights and push that pace uh like my coach was saying now this was your very first fight in bare knuckle how did you prepare specifically for fighting without gloves um, hitting the heavy bag lightly, uh, just going through the time, going through the motions. Um, really, there is no preparing for it. You know, you, you can prepare all you want, but you're not going to be able to find that range and, and ability to attack until you step in there and uh, fill it out in real life. Coach Johnny Bedford is here, and he has been training him. Johnny, what were your thoughts on the fight? Because I know it didn't go as planned. Uh, no, the, the Louisiana decision didn't go our way, I'll say that. Uh, I had us winning that fight 3-2 to two, um, with a knockdown, so I thought it was pretty clearly our way. Obviously, a couple hometown judges had it 3-2 to two the other way, which led us to the controversial majority draw. Um, so it is what it is. I think, you know, experience is, it matters in this sport. I'm happy to get that. I'm happy to not get screwed with a loss. A draw is definitely better than a loss. Um, and, yeah, I, I, I'm excited for the future. This is just a learning experience, so. What could he have done different, do you think, to take the W? Uh, it, was a, it was a frustrating fight for us to fight, if I'm being honest. My guy, and he's right here, right? He's a counter puncher, so we needed that guy to do more, honestly, so we could do more. So it kind of threw us off the fact that he didn't put his offense on the field as much as we were anticipating. So, you know, you can't use your defense if their offense isn't out, so we had to probably step on our offense a little more that we didn't do, but it was a great fight. What did Johnny tell you in between rounds? He told me to step on the gas, you know, let it all go, get out there and go. But like, like Coach was saying, I'm a counter puncher. So I was waiting on his reactions. The ref kept telling us, let's go, guys, let's work. And I wasn't seeing much of a look from him uh, besides that big overhand, uh, which was, was hard for me to time at times. But for the most part, man, you know, it was stepping on that gas and getting after it, doing what I need to do out there. Well, before we go, are there any friends, family, or sponsors you'd like to thank tonight? Uh, I'd like to thank Trap House, obviously Fitness Fight Factory, everybody at home, uh, Sensei Jason, Noel, uh, my, my wife, my beautiful wife over here. Um, pretty much everybody that comes into the gym every single day and puts work in with me, my, my fight team, everything like that, man. I love you guys, and I'm so grateful for y'all having my back. So, I'm going to ask Johnny Bedford. You know what I'm going to ask you, Johnny Bedford. What do you think? I mean, I know coaching is fun, but are we ever going to see you back in the squared circle? Because we miss you. I know. Um, I think it's 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 that that road is or whatever that 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 chapter is closed. Um, it was a tough decision. I got stuck with a weird 16 month layoff, and I thought I still had it in me. And fighting's easy. It's the six to eight weeks that it takes to get ready to fight. That's the hard part. And turning 40 January 6th, I had to think about it. Do I want to sacrifice another Christmas? Did I want to sacrifice a 40th birthday? You know, being selfish, being in camp, doing what needs to be done to be ready to fight. And it was just, it was time. And, you know, I was, it's sad, but I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be able to leave on my terms and, you know, with the belt as the champ and again on my terms. So I have, I, I have no regrets. And you're very lucky that you can take the next generation, so to speak, into the squared circle and get the W. For Bare Knuckle News, I'm Susan Sigari, and this is... Brandon Manessis. And Johnny Bedford. Remember, and I mean remember, no one beats us to the punch.